In this video, we're going to take a deep dive in how to make money with faceless YouTube channels as a complete beginner. And even better, I'm going to be showing you real examples of channels like these that are making upwards of $30,000 per month. And I know these channels actually make that much money because one of my close friends has over 20 different faceless YouTube channels that he runs and he's an absolute master at YouTube. So I'm going to be showing you some examples of his channels and ultimately the best way to get started with this as a complete beginner. So that being said, super excited to show this to you guys. I know you're going to get a ton of value from it. So that being said, let's dive straight into the video. So for those of you that don't know, faceless YouTube channels are basically just YouTube videos that are run completely without showing your face. So basically the whole entire video is just B-roll and voiceover, which means you can stay completely behind the scenes. Now, some of the best things about these faceless YouTube channels is number one, they can be 100% automated, right? So since you don't actually have to sit there and film the videos, you can automate the entire thing with different freelancers. The second thing is you can monetize them in multiple different ways, just like you can with a normal YouTube channel. So a lot of these faceless YouTube channels, depending on the niche, you can monetize with affiliate marketing, you can monetize through Google AdSense, and another big thing is sponsorships and brand deals, right? So that's where a lot of the money starts coming in. And my absolute favorite part about these faceless channels is they're a sellable asset. Like for me, for example, this YouTube channel I have and I've built up um, over the past five years, I cannot sell it, right? Because it's me doing the videos. But with a faceless channel and there's no one actually running the videos, so if you wanted to five, 10 years down the road, you can always sell it for a huge exit price, which is a pretty cool option as well. So anyways, now that you know what a faceless YouTube channel is and kind of like the benefits of them, like I said, I actually have a close friend who does this. His name is Devin. So you guys can go uh, check him out on Instagram, but we were actually childhood friends. My dad and his dad were actually really close friends and we were just like childhood friends growing up and we kind of just happened to work in the same careers as we started to grow up. So anyways, go check him out on Instagram, give him a follow, tell him I sent you. And like I said, I want to give you some examples of his channels that are making upwards of $30,000 per month, right? So he actually shares some of these channels publicly. So um, anyways, this is like the first step of this process, right, is to choose some type of profitable niche. So what he always says is to choose some type of niche that's gonna be educational and evergreen, right? So something that's gonna be around forever, meaning don't do trends, stay away from new stuff, stay away from like celebrity type content because celebrities aren't always around forever. So on YouTube, right, there's literally tons of niches. So this is one example of his channel um, that I know makes over 20,000 per month, right? I won't say the exact number, but it makes somewhere around there and as you can see it's a channel called nutty history so for me personally when i first saw this channel i had no idea channels like these even existed right because it just doesn't go into my home feed it doesn't go into my algorithm but some people really like learning about history and you know there's some interesting topics here right so as you can see, he just makes all kinds of videos around different topics that went down in history. So that's the theme of the channel, Nutty History. And as you can see, right, history will never disappear. It's an evergreen niche, it's educational. And a niche like this, you probably can't do affiliate marketing or sell products, but there's a lot of money in Google AdSense and actual sponsorships and brand deals, um, stuff like that. So if we look into one of the videos, we can see shocking things that were normal for the goss, right? Pretty interesting, let's check it out. All right, so we'll just watch a few seconds of this. So as you can see, um, there's just a voiceover talking. I'll kind of mute it. But anyways, it's a voiceover talking. They have some type of script that they're reading and over that voiceover, they're just putting in B-roll and different clips of what they're talking about, right? So that's like the editing part of this. So you're gonna need a couple things to actually make these videos, but I'll get more into that later. The first step is just to pick some type of profitable niche. So that's step number one. As you can see, they do their little intro and they go into this whole entire video. So that's the first example, right? Full on history niche. They make all kinds of videos around history and different topics around history. So obviously just a channel like these, there's unlimited video ideas and they can always ramp up production by posting more videos and that's how they can make more money along with actually growing the channel. It's around 400,000 subscribers. I think he started this we go to sort to oldest, he started this two years ago. So that's not bad to go from zero to upwards of $30,000 per month, plus have a sellable asset in just two years. I mean, that's really, really good. That's one example. Another example is Millionaire Posts, right? So this one is all about millionaires from dead broke to wealthy NBA star inside the biggest mansion in America. Winning $10 million ruined my life, lottery winner. Right, so there's just all kinds of topics about different things around millionaires and stuff like that. There's another niche like Factomial. So this one has 748,000 subscribers and this one's kind of similar to this Nutty History channel. 
except this one is all about space, right? And different things about space. And as you can see, right, that's a topic that will never go away. It's evergreen, it's educational. There's rooms for sponsorship, there's rooms for growth, right? I Pretty much everyone is interested in space. So these videos are really cool. They get a lot of views and this channel makes good money. Another one is Ask Planet. So this one is all about different Reddit topics and they'll just make videos reading different Reddit posts. Another one like Real Science, right? So this one's all about different things around science, right? So we can see the insane biology of the harpy eagle, the problem with deep space travel, or another one, the insane biology of the orca, right? So. Just this title alone, the insane biology, there's how many animals on this earth? They could do that for, you know, all kinds of different animals and have all kinds of different video ideas. And that's just one little topic on the whole entire channel, right? So this channel has pretty much unlimited ideas and content to make for the next 10, 20, 30 years, however long they wanna do this. So that's another example. And again, you can do this in pretty much any niche. I know people who even do this in the make money online niche and they do affiliate marketing through there. There's people who do this in the crypto niche, the investing niche, real estate niche, whatever it is, like I said, step one is choose some type of profitable niche that's gonna be evergreen and educational. And real quick, if you guys wanna see the exact business model I do, it's called affiliate marketing. Like I said, you can apply affiliate marketing to a lot of these faceless YouTube channels. So if you wanna see how to get into that and ultimately get five proven steps to quit your nine to five job with affiliate marketing like I've been able to do. Like I said, I have a free cheat sheet for you. If you wanna download it for completely free, all you have to do is click the first link in the description below. So once you do find a profitable niche that you wanna do your YouTube channel around, the second step is to hire a script writer so they can script the entire video for you. So if you actually go to Devin's Instagram again, he actually has a free training in his link and I was just checking it out um, just because to be transparent guys, I don't have one of these faceless YouTube channels. I don't claim to make money with this, but I think it's a really interesting topic. I think it's something that can be applied to affiliate marketing. And I'm actually gonna be starting one very soon. So if you guys wanna see me document that process, uh, let me know in the comments below. So anyways, if you go to this free training, um, he has a video on here, but this is like the thing you wanna post on Upwork. So basically you can post a job. If you go to upwork.com, um, you just go over to find talent and then you can post a job in, or hire a pro right here. And this is where you can actually post the script to actually hire a script writer. So they just say something like, hello, we run a YouTube channel about blanks of so whatever your niche is about. And we're looking for a long-term script writer who can help write the original scripts for our channel. We provide you with video title and original script, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyways, our budget is $25 per script, right? So that's how much they actually charge. So all in all, Devin says it costs around $50 to make a video, right? So that's after you hire the script writer, a video editor, and actually get a thumbnail done for the channel. Or if you wanna save some money, you can do the thumbnail yourself, only if you're really good at it, because it's one of the most important things on a YouTube video. So once you actually find a script writer, you're actually gonna wanna send them the title of the video that you want them to make and also the video you're modeling. So if you're modeling a certain video or a certain channel, right, just send them that over and have them make a similar or a little bit different script than the one you're actually modeling and same thing for the title as well. So that's step number two. Once you get that done, the next step, step number three, is to actually hire a video editor that you're gonna use for your YouTube channel, right? So like I said, you basically need three things, right? Someone to write the script, someone to put B-roll over the entire video, and then the next step is to actually get a voiceover that fits with the channel. So we'll show you how to do that in just a second, but anyways, you're gonna wanna do the same thing on Upwork, right? Post some type of job about editing and use the same kind of script to actually find a video editor for your YouTube channel as well. Okay, so you found a profitable niche, you hired a script writer, you hired a video editor, now step number four is to actually get someone to do the voiceover for your video and finding someone to do a thumbnail. So these two things you're gonna actually find on Fiverr. It's gonna be probably your best option over Upwork. So if you just go over to fiverr.com and you type in voiceover, you can see there's all kinds of people um, who do voiceovers, you know, starting at 20 bucks, 15 bucks. If you do want to save money and you feel like you have a good voice for the video, um, you can do that yourself, obviously. And basically all you do is you got the script done, right? You just read the script or whoever you're hiring, right? You're just telling them to read the script and they have a professional voice. Now, one tip I would give you is to make sure the voice aligns with the channel's niche, right? So if we go back to this Nutty History channel, Let's go to the most popular videos, right? So this one has, you know, 5 million views. So if we click on this video. Denazification was a plan implemented to rid German and Austrian society. You can see that he has like a typical history voice, right? It's kind of like an older guy. It just sounds like a history channel. So whatever channel you're doing, making sure the voice actually aligns with that channel, 
I think is gonna be super important with your branding. So that's gonna be the first part of this is getting a voiceover either doing yourself or going on Fiverr and hiring someone to read the script that you had uh, made for you. And then the next thing, like I said, you can do this yourself if you feel like you're skilled enough for it is the thumbnail, right? So if you guys don't know, like with YouTube, the thumbnail is just as important as the entire video itself, right? So the thumbnail is super important. Uh, this is a huge mistake I see a lot of beginner YouTubers make is they just like get a thumbnail done real quick. Guys, the thumbnail is so important for the videos. I can't express it enough. So, you know, if we go to a channel like this, Millionaire Post, you can see like these channel, these thumbnails are pretty simple to make, right? Like a thumbnail like this, I could easily go make this in Canva in like five minutes, right? And so could you. So it depends on the thumbnails, kind of the depends on the theme of the channel or this channel as you can see these thumbnails would be pretty easy to make as well uh, if we go back to these right these would be pretty easy to make as well so it kind of just depends if you're more on a budget um, you should probably just create the thumbnails yourself just make sure you actually put a lot of effort into them and make sure they're click worthy so anyways the last and final step of this is once you have the profitable niche you send the content ideas to the script writer the script writer creates the script. You get a voiceover for the script. You have an editor to do the B-roll for the entire video. You have the thumbnail done. Now all you have to do is basically upload the video and keep doing that consistently, right? So find some kind of upload schedule. I'd probably recommend doing around two videos per week, right? And just do that consistently for six, 12 months. YouTube is not a get rich quick. Some videos can go viral, right? But sometimes a viral video can take three months. It can take six months, right? So give it time post consistently. If you do this and you continue to make it better, I guarantee you're going to be making a bunch of money from this if you do it consistently. So if we go back to this channel, that's making over $20,000 per month. You can see when they first started the channel, even though they're spending money to get the script done, to get the editing done, to get the thumbnails done, and the videos weren't getting that many views, they were still posting consistently, right? And they kept on doing this. And it wasn't until, you know, probably around um, a couple months into it where they had like their first viral video and that's where it started, started to take off. And then they had another viral video right after that. So once you get one viral video, it kind of turns into a spiral effect and it's a lot easier for all your other videos to go viral. And from there, you can kind of just keep stacking the views. And this is probably where the channel started to turn more profitable and they started to make money. And now they're making tons of profit from the channel by doing brand deals, sponsorships, ad revenue, and overall just growing the channel and building another digital asset. That makes money in multiple different ways. So depending on your niche, right, maybe you're in the crypto niche, maybe you're in the make money online niche, those kind of channels you can start to monetize in multiple different ways. Like I said, whether it's affiliate marketing, whether it's Google AdSense, whether it's brand deals, sponsorships, you kind of get the point. So anyways, guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, just drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Real quick before you go, if you want a free copy of my affiliate marketing cheat sheet, it's my affiliate boss cheat sheet, that'll be the first link in the description below, or you can just go to this link right here. Affiliate marketing is a business model that I personally do. I've made over a million dollars in commissions from it. So if you want to see the five proven steps to quit your nine to five job with affiliate marketing, uh, that's what this affiliate boss cheat sheet will show you how to do. And again, that'll be the first link in the description below. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Like I said, I will be starting one of these faceless YouTube channels. So if you want to see me document that process, just comment down below. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video.